Welcome back to the blind nation, the blind community. Glad to be here once again, my friends. Let me uh, switch my hand so I don't drop nothing. So uh, the Old Man Rogers show is running a little bit late today, but I promise you it will be on there today. Um, I had someone message me, and as you guys know, I have moved from doing the motivational stuff from Spreaker, just bringing it right over to YouTube, right to you, directly at your front door, so to speak. Uh, someone sent me a message, and that message brought me to giving this little speech. Folks, the past is the past, and you've got to let go of it if you want your life to be any better. What you've done in your past is exactly what it says. It's the past. Now, I'm not saying, you know, something go about, you know, murder somebody or beat somebody up or anything like that. But we're talking about just mistakes in general that you beat yourself up about. That you, you put regret on your shoulders because you didn't, you didn't do something the way that you wanted to do it. You know, I didn't graduate. And you all know that. And I don't look at it. And I don't look behind me. Try to walk forward. Let me ask you something. If you're walking straight ahead, now this this goes for sided or blind, and let's just say for well we'll start with that way. Uh, this is connected in both ways. Start with the sided. If you're walking straight ahead, and you do this, and you keep walking straight ahead, you're definitely not going to get where you need to go. Are you? You're gonna run into stuff. You're gonna you're gonna possibly hurt yourself more because you're paying attention to what's behind you. You gotta look ahead. You gotta pay attention to what's ahead of you, not behind you. The only way that your life will improve, the only way that you will be happy is by letting your past go. Let it go. Let your past go and look ahead of you. Pay attention to what's in front of you. Now, example, I know there's some people out there that can be <laughs> smart Alex or smart butts. If you're visually impaired, blind it would be like trying to walk ahead of you without no cane without no guide dog without no assistance and and worried about paying attention to what's behind you walking backwards turning your body around and walking backwards what's going to happen you're going to run into more stuff doing that than if you pay attention to what's right in front of you what's ahead of you Folks, we all got a past. Every single one of us have a past. Every single one of us has something that we've done in our life that we regret or that we wish we would have done differently. And the only way you're going to get around that, the only way you're going to succeed with your life is by forgetting about it. Let it go. Like I said, when I didn't graduate, I paid attention to that too long. I kept on, kept on just beating myself up, saying, why didn't I do it? 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 Instead of just paying attention to what's right in front of me and getting it done. But as soon as, as soon as you start paying attention to the things that you need to do that's right in front of you, your life will move along a lot smoother and you'll be a lot happier. Maybe you made the wrong choice in a relationship and you wish you had never been with that person. Okay, well, guess what? You was with them. And there's nothing you can do to change that. 
There's nothing you can do to change the regrets that you have in your life. Absolutely nothing. Nobody in this world will change them regrets that you have. It does no good to, to, to run it through your mind every day. You got to get rid of it. You got to put it in the back of your mind and, and fill it with the good things, with the things that are ahead of you. We all make mistakes, folks. That's what makes us human. That's what makes us human and that's what makes us make better choices for our future by learning lessons in life because of our past. Don't pay attention to what's behind you. Use it as a lesson. Use it to your advantage for when you're moving forward in your life to not do it again or to do it differently or to be different about a situation or to get smarter about something or to learn more about something. You guys need to think about this. Life is not everlasting, okay? If you ever want to be able to say, I'm living a good life, then you need to let go of what you got behind you. You need to let it go. Average 70 Christmases, 70 birthdays, 70 Halloween, 70 Easter's. Average. Okay? It's not that many. Live your life to the fullest. Give it your all. Give it everything you got. 100%. Everything you got. So what? You made a mistake in your past. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody is perfect. The President of the United States isn't perfect. The Presidents that are in, in the past wasn't perfect. Your mom and dad are not perfect. Your boyfriend or husband, wife or girlfriend is not perfect. Your service dog is not perfect. Today is when you stand up and you tell yourself, forget the past. Forget what's behind you. It doesn't matter anymore. I made a mistake and now I've learned from it. I've made a mistake and now I'm going to be stronger. I made a mistake and now I'm going to be happier because I'm going to do better than what I did before. I'm going to give more to my life than I did before. I'm going to feel better about myself more than what I did before. I'm going to love myself more than what I did before. I'm going to love myself and not tell myself I wish I would have. Why didn't I? Why did I? How come? Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? That will get you nowhere but misery and sadness. And you will have more hard times ahead of you if you continue to face your life in that direction. Stop zigzagging. Stop zigzagging and go straight ahead in your life and give it your best. If there's something you want to do in your life, do it. And if you tell yourself you can't do that, you're lying to yourself. You've automatically became a liar to yourself. Don't lie to yourself because when you start doing things to yourself that are wrong, you're going to start doing things to others that are wrong. Be true to yourself and you'll be true to others. Be true to yourself, you'll be true to your own life. Be true to yourself and your future will be better. Never tell yourself that you can't do something and stop looking behind you. The more you look behind you and the more you pay attention to your past, 
the rougher your life is going to be, the sadder you're going to be, the more miserable that you are going to be. I would love for anyone to tell me that they're perfect. I would love for someone to come up to me and tell me I'm a perfect person. My past was perfect. Because it wasn't. Nobody's was. We live and we learn. But today is when you're going to stop beating yourself up. You're going to stop thinking that you're some horrible person because you didn't make the right choices in your past. You're going to stop feeling so down and sad because you think that you're not wanted. You're going to stop beating yourself up because other people don't treat you the way you should be treated. That is their own loss. Because you're going to show them today that you're not going to tolerate them. Those that treat you bad, you're going to ignore them. You're going to put a smile on your face when they say things. And you're going to tell them it doesn't matter. You're going to tell them it's your life. You're going to tell them that your past was your past, not their past. Don't ever let someone else judge you because of your past. It wasn't theirs. It wasn't their past to judge. It wasn't their past to be able to judge you for it. They didn't create that past. You did. They didn't make those mistakes. You did. They didn't do it a different way in your own past. You did. Stand up for yourself. Love yourself. Forget about the past. Let it go. To be a stronger person tomorrow, you gotta be strong today. And you gotta tell yourself, I'm done. I'm done worrying about what's behind me. I'm done beating myself up because I was not perfect. I'm done telling myself that I did wrong when I should have done right. Today, I'm gonna start telling myself, this is what I can do to make my life better. This is what I can do to, to make my future more happier. Today is when you're gonna forget about your past and you're gonna be a strong person. You're gonna start loving yourself for who you are, not for what others want you to be, not for what others want, want to think about you or assume about you. Let people talk because that's all it is, is talk. Let no one judge you for your past. And let yourself not judge you for your past. Today is when you're going to take action and you're going to say, John, I'm done. I'm going to start treating myself better. I'm going to love myself for who I am. I'm going to be honest with myself. I'm going to respect myself. I'm going to give my own life a better future, a better chance, a better opportunity. I have done speech after speech and I will continue to do speech after speech telling you that you are a good person because we do make mistakes and we learn from it and we become stronger because of it. We become a better person because of it. But today, you need to let go of the past. If you lost someone in your life as far as a relationship, then it wasn't meant to be. I had someone tell me I, I loved him so much. He done me wrong. I can't live without him. He was born without him for 15, 16, 17 years. You walked without him, you ate without him, you drove without him, you went to school without him, you cried without him, you laughed without him, and you're gonna live without him and you're gonna be happy without him. It's not another person that gives you happiness in your life. Not until you give yourself happiness. And then you get the privilege of being with somebody that makes your life more happy. That gives you more happiness. 
but it's not your happiness. It's a bonus to your life. It's like buying a brand new car, and this car is perfect. I mean, it's perfect. It's got a shiny paint job. It's got nice interior. It's perfect. It runs perfect. And then, you later on, go back and you have more features added to it. Now it's even better. Now you're happier because of the new things that your car has. It looks a little cooler. It's got some more features. Now it's got a moon roof or whatever. And now you're happier. A month goes by and something happens and them features that you just got were gone. Taken away. Now you're sad. Now you're sad. You forgot about the happiness that you had when you first got that brand new car that was already perfect. So now you're going to look back and you're going to remember. You're going to say, you know what? I was happy when I got this anyways. That car is your life, folks. That example is your life. You was born with everything that makes you a great person. And you laughed and you was happy and you did all these things in your life. And then comes along a relationship. Now you're happier. Six months, a year, two years, five years, ten years, the relationship came to an end. That extra feature in your life was taken away. And now you've forgotten how happy you was before you was with that person. And now you need to remember you was happy before. Treat yourself with respect. Think about what I said. Stand up and make a change in your life today, not tomorrow. Don't say, John, I gotta think about it. Don't say, John, well this, but this. There is no well, there is no buts. There is no maybe, there is no ifs. There is a simple solution of standing up and giving yourself a pat on the back and start loving yourself. Respect yourself. Those features will come back into your life. And as soon as you start putting a smile on your face, you're not gonna think about being sad again. And the next thing you know, later on, bam! There comes a good feature again. Maybe to work this time. Maybe it'll last for the rest of your life. Who knows? But you're happy. And you are prepared that if something goes wrong again, you're going to still walk with a smile on your face. Waste no more time with your life. Treat yourself with respect. Love yourself. Tell me what change this made in your life.